Hi everyone, welcome to Difference Frames the World, a channel to find a real China. Today, we want to talk about the world's first inhalable new coronavirus vaccine developed by China. According to a report by CCTV Military on July 28, 2021, the inhalable new coronavirus vaccine developed in China has yielded corresponding clinical trial results. The clinical trial data on the inhalable COVID vaccine has been published in the medical journal The Lancet Infectious Diseases. The research and development of the vaccine were completed by China's academician Chen Wei and her team. Chen Wei's team is the first to publish the clinical trial data of an inhalable COVID vaccine worldwide. Compared to the previous injectable vaccine, this nebulized, inhalable COVID vaccine has many advantages. First, it does not cause any adverse reactions such as muscle pain after the vaccination is completed. People afraid of injections are more willing to use them, which helps accelerate vaccinations to reach herd immunity. Second, the nebulized inhalation vaccine effectiveness has been significantly improved. The inhalation dose is only one-fifth of that of the traditional injectable vaccine with the same effect. With one jab of the Cancino vaccine, only one person could be vaccinated before. Now five people can be inoculated with the nebulized vaccine. Suppose the technology proves feasible with other vaccines like Sinopharm, Sinovac, Pfizer, Moderna, etc. In that case, the world herd immunity will be reached much faster, and the vaccine shortage can be relieved or even solved. It is vital for the subsequent production of the new coronavirus vaccine, improving the vaccination efficiency. The inhalable vaccine also does not require medical supplies like needles for the vaccination process, thus eliminating the need for medical waste disposal and other related issues. The vaccine can also be combined with the injectable vaccine to further increase the vaccine's effectiveness as booster shots. China has approved trials of this inhalation vaccine. Several media outlets in Europe and the United States quickly reported this vaccine progress in China. Two months ago we introduced Chen Wei, a newly elected vice chairperson of the Association of Science and Technology, in a previous video. She is also among the very few that were awarded the title of a national hero. She and her team developed the world's first Ebola vaccine. On February 26, 2020, her 54th birthday, the Cancino COVID vaccine she developed with her team members started mass production. She used a short sentence to respond to countless congratulations, we have no other options except victory. The inhalation vaccine is based on the same technology as the Cancino vaccine. However, it is obviously much more convenient than the injectable one. Currently, countries worldwide are controlling the new coronavirus outbreaks with injectable vaccines. However, those injectable vaccines are difficult to manufacture, store and administer, among other things. Even the Chinese vaccines that can be stored at a temperature of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, many glass vials are needed to keep them. Some Western vaccines like Pfizer and Moderna require ultra-low temperatures to store. For Pfizer, it needs to be held under minus 70 degrees Celsius. Very few countries in the world have enough professional medical fridges to store them. Undoubtedly, the inhalation vaccine is the most substantial not only in China but also globally. The first phase trial was started on September 29, 2020, and the second phase is currently advancing. The researchers are applying for emergency use. Because no syringe is needed, the problem of Sharp's disposal has also been well resolved. The usage of glass vials can also be significantly reduced. As the injectable vaccines need to be kept in high-quality glass vials, very few manufacturers worldwide can produce them. It is also a bottleneck that limits the supply of COVID vaccines. Apart from the advantages mentioned above, the COVID vaccine nebulizers benefit the patients more than regular jabs do. For the nebulized COVID vaccine, China is not the only country that is developing it. In September 2020, British scientists conducted clinical trials spraying the coronavirus vaccine into the respiratory tract. At the same time, the nasal spray vaccine adopting the influenza virus vector technology, jointly developed by Zyman University, 
the University of Hong Kong, and Beijing Wanta Bio, has also officially launched clinical trials. However, academician Chen Wei's team's inhaled vaccine is much easier and more comfortable to use. Firstly, people use their mouths to take the vaccine into their lungs, which is as natural as breastfeeding a baby. Many children, even some adults, are afraid of needles inherently. If they know they can take the vaccines with their mouths, they are more likely to get vaccinated. They know how to use their mouths from day one. Secondly, the nebulized vaccine acts directly on the respiratory tract and lungs, thereby stimulating mucosal immunity. The regular jabs are administered through injection and fool around the immune system to generate antibodies, indirectly protecting the lungs and respiratory tract when the actual virus attacks the body. As a result, the amount used is higher than directly applying to the lungs and respiratory tract. With more vaccines than needed into the body, vaccinated people tend to have more adverse effects. Thirdly, the lower dose of nebulized inhalation vaccine corresponds to a substantial increase in vaccine production. Also, since it does not require syringes, it can effectively solve Sharp's capacity and medical waste disposal problems, as we said earlier. China now can produce 5 to 6 billion doses of COVID vaccines annually. Suppose all of them can be administered via inhalation. In that case, all people in the world can be fully vaccinated, as those 5 or 6 billion doses can be diluted to 25 to 30 nebulizations, which are enough for nearly 15 billion people. Fourthly, people are no longer required to line up at hospitals or centralized vaccination sites. It can reduce the medical sector's workload and reduce the risk of cross-infection in the vaccinated population at vaccination sites. For a two-dose vaccine, it takes about two months to generate enough antibodies. A person can contract the virus when being vaccinated in a closed vaccination area. Instead, residents can go to their community centers, get the spray, and vaccinate themselves and their family members independently. It will be as easy as grabbing a coffee in Starbucks. Fifthly, and most importantly, it can be used as boosters to deal with new variants. Very likely, the COVID virus will be less fatal than today, as influenza is. The COVID vaccines will become another type of flu shot. In that case, the nebulized vaccine will be so much easier for the human race to fight new variants. People do not drink detergents to kill the virus, as Donald Trump suggested. Instead, they can spray the vaccine into their lungs like using a pesticide spray to kill a croach. If it comes true, cockroaches will be scarier than the Delta variant. In short, the aerosol inhalation vaccine has similar protective efficacy as the intramuscular vaccine. It has fewer side effects in adults over 18 years of age than the injectable ones. It requires aerosol inhalation only to complete vaccination and obtain triple protection of mucosal immunity, cellular immunity, and humoral immunity. If used as a booster, it can significantly improve the already vaccinated population's multiple immunization effect against the new coronavirus mutation. At the same time, the dose of this vaccine is relatively low, which indirectly increases the yield of the vaccine significantly and can effectively solve the problems of medical waste disposal. As a result, it is more suitable for large-scale vaccination. It is worth mentioning that the clinical trial results published on Lancet, are the first in the world regarding the nebulized COVID vaccine. The report has 20 co-authors. Miss Chen Wei put her name as the last one instead of the first. We need to extend our respect to this Chinese lady, who is the hero of China and the world. We said many times that gender parity is no longer a problem in China. Without the contributions of 700 million Chinese ladies, China cannot make so many advances on all fronts. Please share your opinions with other viewers about the aerosol spray vaccine and the China lady Chen Wei and her team, who make it come true. As always, your criticism and corrections are welcome, and we are willing to rectify our mistakes, if any. Thank you so much for your time on this video. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel, and share them with people you know. We publish videos daily and post long videos on topics viewers are interested in once or twice a week.
If you want to support us, please use the PayPal or Patreon link below.